Hello and welcome to my channel. Friends, today I'm taking you to an interesting place which is uh, which is basically a temple. So this temple is uh, situated in Sandur which is in Ballari district of Karnataka state. So we are heading towards the temple. The temple is uh, situated in Kraunchagiri so which is a small settlement in Karnataka about 10 kilometers from Sandur. So it is uh, notable for two ancient Hindu temples which are in the same compound and uh, are both protected monuments. The most famous in religious terms is the Kumara Swami temple so which is built in uh, 8th to 10th century so believed to be the first abode in South India of Murugan or Kartikeya, the Hindu god of war. And the other uh, temple is uh, Parvati temple. So you can see both the temples in the same compound. The complex houses uh, temples of Parvati and Kumaraswami, the Ganesha idol in the Kumaraswami temple is more popular these days than the main deity Kartikeya. Both monuments are now uh, protected monuments. It was uh, discovered by the local rulers, the Ghorpodes, in the Thiki Odet Swami Malai Hill in 15th century. Women were earlier strictly not allowed to enter the shrine. Murari Rao Vaishwant Rao Gorpade lifted the ban on women in October 1996. After the ban was lifted, uh, nearly 3,000 women have uh, worshipped at the temple. The Gorpade is uh, well loved and uh, respected by the locals had declared the temple open to Harijans as early as 1930s. After learning of this, on his visit to Sandur in 1934, Mahatma Gandhi said that a small state in South India has opened the temples to the Harijans, the heavens have not fallen. So uh, regarding the Kumaraswami temple, the temple was constructed during the rule of uh, Rashtrakutas in uh, between 8th to 10th century. So this is the backyard of the temple which is uh, beautiful so uh, before uh, covid um, there used to be a food distribution for uh, the people who visit here so it was very delicious so the food which we call it as prasad was given here to all the visitors So this is the Parvati temple which is just beside the Kumara Swami temple. I have uh, visited this temple several times. The weather here will be always cool. The Parvati temple that you see here has a number of unusual features. So this temple uh, actually belongs to 
द मिडिल फेज ऑफ बादामी चालुक्य आर्किटेक्चर photography inside both the temples is prohibited so i could not get a glimpse of it in the camera so this is an administrative office so basically the staff uh, stays here and uh, looks after uh, the temple According to one account uh, the Parvati temple which was originally called Kumara Swami temple was built by Badami Chalukyas in 7th to 8th century and has the image of uh, Parvati as the main deity So when I was a kid I used to play here in this uh, small area which is which looks like a garden so we used to have uh, lunch sometimes when we get here so we had a very good time uh, whenever we visited this place So this is uh, Naga Nageshwara Temple within the compound of the Kumara Swami Temple. So in this area like just away from the temple this is a small garden area so we had our uh, lunch here the weather was uh, awesome and uh, the food we got from the house so we enjoyed the food so right after our lunch uh, we visited uh, one more uh, temple which is Hari Shankara temple or it is also called as Hari Shankara Tirtha so this is uh, one more interesting place so do visit this this is around 2 to 3 kilometers from uh, Kumara Swami temple So the Harishankara temple is actually a temple of Lord Shiva. 
So here we get water for 365 days uh, dropping from uh, bull mouth. So we Sundurians believe uh, this water is sweetest among all the other water. So it's also called as uh, Nandi Tirtha. So I have given complete details in the description how to reach Sandur and um, how to visit this place. So please do uh, go through the description for uh, more information on the Kumaraswami temple and the Hari Shankara temple. So thank you for uh, watching this video. Please like, share and uh, subscribe my videos.